Hey there, Wasted Potential 616 back again with some more comic reviews and um, I'm going to do a X-Men uh, related video so um, let's get started uh, Alright, let's, let's get started with X-Women number one Okay, there's quite a big fuss I made about this uh, particular comic because the artwork Milo Manara is um, specialises in pornographic art um, and uh, yeah, it's the first time he's done an X-Men comic and whatnot. And um, th this whole book is basically kind of a, a vehicle for um, for him. Um, well, it's, it's you know it's kind of a, um, an in interesting acquisition for Marvel. I think he's only doing this, but it's just like yeah, we're getting this artist. It's something a bit different. Um, Michael's a little bit of controversy. Blah -de blah blah. Um, that said, I like his artwork. Um, you know, there's there is an underlying sexuality um, to his artwork. You know, I mean, there's no, there's not. I mean, there's, there's well, I think there's one, two sex scenes hinted at, but you don't really, you know, you don't see anything. It's just some of the um, positions and the facial expressions of the characters. Um, but nothing offensive, I don't think, you know. Um, and actually, you know, it's it's beautiful artwork, you know. And um, the composition's nice. And um, you know, this guy does do the female form very well, you know. Um, so, you know, nothing really uncomfortable there. Um, the guy they got to wrote, write it, Chris Claremont. Um, Nothing spectacular in the story wise. It's a lot of the ex women on holiday. Um, it goes a bit wrong, they're attacked, a couple of them are kidnapped, they lose the um, the rest of the team use, lose their powers, they use their in ingenuity to get the bad guys, and, and all is well. It's, it's by the numbers book which I feel like I've, I've read before you know and um, the novelty is the artwork um, is it worth getting you know it's you know if you get oh it's a, a porn uh, artist and it you know oh, I'm going to see some tits or something um, nah you're not going to get that <laughs> you know you, I, I doubt you're going to get titillated by this you know but it is beautiful artwork, um, and I did, I did enjoy it just for the artwork. He's a very good artist, and um, yeah, I was always pleased with that. I probably wouldn't get a regular series just for this, but this is just a nice demonstration of uh, Milo Manara's artwork. Um, and Chris, you know, the storyline's okay. It's just nothing original. Um, so there we go on that one. You know, all the fuss, but. It doesn't need to be a lot of fuss made over this. He was uh, a lot of fuss needs to be made about Astonishing X-Men 34. Remember this? Remember this? I can't remember the last time the last issue came out, but um, yeah. Warren Ellis' um, Lost X-Men book. Um, having trouble kind of remembering what the whole storyline was about, but you get thrown into the story quite well. Um, I give this for Warren Ellis. He writes the X-Men well. He knows the characters. Um, there's really good dialogue. Uh, dialogue between them, um, Beast and Cyclops. You know the kind of the tension between them. Uh, sort of slight male posturing. Uh, but ultimately, they're friends. It's just their relationship's handled very, very well. Very intelligent and interesting writing. You know, really good dynamic between the characters. Um, there's some cool crazy ideas thrown in there which Warren Ellis is known for. You know, we've got um, um, a giant clone of Sauron who's uh, a wear pterodactyl. Um, gets taken out in a quite in intelligent way. Um, and the X-Men sort of finally get to their destination to where the big bad guy is. And then that's going to be the conclusion. Um, you know, not a great deal happens in this, but just some cool dialogue. Beautiful work by Phil and Jim Menez. 
Um, really nice artwork as well. And the colouring as well has got to be it's coloured beautifully as well. Um, Frank the Deer, Marta, finishes Andy Landing as well. Um, it's nice, the art is put together really nicely in this. Um, the thing is about this, I've just noticed about Warren Ellis's uh, X Men work. You know, it's a big build up, slow pace, always good dialogue, cool ideas thrown out there. It seems to end rather abruptly, each of the stories, and I've got a feeling the same is going to happen here, because we've only got one more issue to go, and there's a lot of questions that need to be answered. But that said, this was an enjoyable issue. It was good. Um, right, last but definitely not least, X, uh, excuse me, um, X-Force 28. Um, the penultimate chapter to um, the whole second coming storyline, if you don't sort of count the whole Hellbound thing. Um, and this was good. Carl and Yost did a good job here. Um, and Cho, oh, his artwork is just beautiful. Just so, so good. Um, and the colours for Sonia Obak, Obak has to be you know, praised as well. Just oh, brilliant, brilliant artwork. Um, as I think I've said previously, it is worth it just for the artwork. Now, Carl and Yost, they know how to do the X-Men too. So all of the characters are written quite well. You know, the, the drama's there. Um, it kind of, you know, this crossover, it kind of feels like a by-the-numbers X-Men storyline. You know, uh, there's a sacrifice made, um, a character obtains lots of power, takes out the bag, it's, it's by-the-numbers, it's, it's not very original, but it's still enjoyable. Um, you know, I'm not disappointed, but it, you know, I, I feel like I kind of could have predicted everything. It was going to happen quite easily, and um, yeah, it's very by the numbers. I think that's the, the best way I can uh, express my point. Um, but yeah, it's still a nice package. Um, great artwork, and um, you know, the story's still a lot of fun despite not being, not feeling very original. Um, and uh, yeah, so we've got one more issue to go with the whole second coming thing, so I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, Carl and Yost, you know, I'm going to miss them in X-Force. And it's, Don't get me wrong, this has been a really good crossover, great story, but just, dare I say it again, feels by the numbers. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave it there for this video and I'll be back soon.